Hey guys, and welcome to Jay's Nest. I've had a few people ask about a hand washing routine, so I decided to re-upload this video. This video is actually a snippet from one of my Day in a Life videos. I made this video in 2018 during the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge. I hand washed flat cloth diapers for a week straight, no washer and no dryer. Back in 2015, I actually hand washed my diapers for a solid six months, but back then I had microfiber inserts and microfiber all-in-ones only, and they are a pain in the butt to hand wash. If you are hand washing or if you have to hand wash, I highly, highly, highly recommend flat cloth diapers all the way. Flats are so easy to hand wash, they're easy to get clean, and they hang dry very quickly. They're also pretty affordable. Anyways, there will be more information down below in the description box, so don't forget to read that. And let's get started. Now it's time to hand wash the diapers, so here's my routine. For the pre-wash, I fill this bucket with cold water. I fill the bucket up about halfway with diapers, both the PUL covers, the pocket diapers, and the flats. I make sure that the bucket is about half full. For the pre-wash, I am using one tablespoon detergent and one tablespoon of water softener. Then, 50 plunges. After I'm done with the 50 plunges, I do wait 5 minutes. Now this pre-wash water can get pretty dirty as you can tell, and that's very important because you do want to wash all of that pee, any excess poop residue off of these diapers, just like when you wash in a washing machine, you want to do pre-wash. So this pre-wash is important to get all of the dirty fecal matter off of your diapers. After you waited 5 minutes, it's time to plunge again. 50 more plunges. Then I dump the dirty water. I do rinse the diapers after this pre-wash. It's not necessary to do this step. And now we begin hot wash number one. I use hot water, two tablespoons of detergent, and one tablespoon of water softener. I start this hot wash off with 50 plunges. After I'm done with the 50 plunges, I wait 10 minutes. Then 50 more plunges. Dump the dirty water out and start again with hot wash number two. Hot wash number two is identical to hot wash number one. Hot water, two tablespoons of detergent, and one tablespoon of water softener. You do 50 plunges. Then I wait 10 minutes. And then 50 more plunges. And then I dump the water. The very last wash I do is a cold wash with no detergent. I do 50 plunges. I wait 5 minutes and then I do 50 more plunges. I dump the dirty water out and then I wring the diapers. I make sure all of the excess fluid that I could possibly get out with my hands is off of every single diaper. It'll definitely help with dry time the more water you can wring out. 
I also do the sniff test <laughs> where I smell all my diapers to make sure they smell fresh. If your diapers don't smell fresh after washing, you need to reconsider your wash routine. This goes for both hand washing and also using a washing machine. Then I hang my diapers to dry. I found that hanging them on a hanger inside works really well and it doesn't take up much space. All right guys, that is it for my hand washing routine. I do have really hard water, so I add water softener to my wash. You don't need to do that if your water is not hard. And this is not to be confused with fabric softener. Fabric softener is, it's really just a film of chemicals that coats your fabrics and it can actually coat your dryer as well if you use a dryer. It causes buildup in your fabrics and it can cause a lot of issues down the line. This routine has been a very sturdy routine for me over the years as I've hand washed. Flats really don't need much detergent, especially when you're hand washing small loads like this. Flats wash so easily and they dry quicker than pretty much any insert I've ever tried. And if you hand wash, I highly, highly, highly suggest trying flats out. Just, if you're lazy like me, fold it into a rectangle and you're good to go. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.